Seven Artisans just dropped a bombshell, a 9mm f5.6 ultra wide full frame lens. And I'm here to share my thoughts with this lens right here. Look at this sexy fella right here. Let me, let me just start off by saying I've never seen anything this wide in a full frame world before. It's absolutely mind blowing. The perspective this lens offer is downright crazy it's expansive and it brings something different and unique to the table let's talk about it let's kick things off with the build of this lens it's got a substantial feel to it offering a satisfying weight without being too heavy putting it in your hands you'll notice a premium quality that's hard to miss the lens comes with a front cap to protect its front element however there's a catch it lacks a filter thread meaning you can't attach nd filters and take a look at the lens and you'll see that the lens sports a pedal shaped lens hood it's necessary given its front bulbous element what's interesting is that seven artisans has included a clicked aperture ring which might be the first for them. I haven't tested all their lenses, but it, this feels like a new addition. The aperture ring though handles beautifully, offering a satisfying tactile feedback with just the right amount of resistance. And as for the manual focusing system, it's pretty much in line with what you expect if you're familiar with the other seven artisan lenses. Uh, the focusing ring feels smooth and well dampened, making the manual focusing experience quite enjoyable. This lens starts at f5.6 and can be stopped down all the way to f22. And it has a whooping 132 degree field of view. It's impressively wide. In terms of weight, it's a featherweight at just 463 grams. It's about the same size as my Fujifilm XF 33mm f1.4 primes right here. So this is the full frame 7 artisans f5.6 and this is the XF 33mm f1.4 and look at the size. This does feel a little bit heavier but it's around the same height. There's some heavy glass in this and it just feels so good in the hands to hold. Let's talk about the image quality that you Yet. The images that I captured with this lens were nothing short of intriguing. When shooting subjects up close, you'll notice a unique distortion that personally I find quite fascinating. Bring, bring this lens close to a human subject and you'll witness some out of this world head and limb proportions. I get it, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely dig this uh, otherworldly look. It's when you're working with human subjects that things get particularly interesting. You can manipulate their proportions, making their limbs look unusually elongated, or the heads just seem unusually small, all the while their hands appear disproportionately large, which is a really funky look in my opinion. Now let's talk about the center sharpness, uh, wide open at f5.6. Now I use the Sony a7 III for these sample images and in the center of the frame, things look pretty good. But as you venture towards the corners, you'll start to notice some image degradation. Even if you stop down to f11, there's a, there's an improvement, but it's not mind blowing. And this lens boasts a minimum focusing distance of 20 centimeters, allowing you to get incredibly close to your subject. Uh, so I'm talking like so close that the subject almost touches the front of the lens. And what's cool about this is that shooting from such proximity makes everything in the foreground appear large and imposing while the background recedes, giving your images a funky, surreal look. One of the things that I truly appreciate shooting with this 9mm focal length is the way it sparks creativity. Now, I never worked with anything this wide before, like seriously, never. So it's like super liberating for me. It allows me to explore and make mistakes and most importantly, having a blast in the process. I've managed to craft some uniquely captivating portraits with this lens and it's something that I'll happily use again. Of course, it's worth noting that this wide angle lens brings about some flares and ghosting. Given its immense field of view, you'll sometimes catch the sun rays striking the glass. However, when used creatively, I believe it adds an artistic flair to an image. Pun totally intended. <laughs> and take a look at this picture right here. I find this picture to look really, really cool, really funky. And uh, the flare just adds that little spice to the image to make you know, the shoe almost stand out away. And look, I, to me, I don't know, it looks cool in my, in my books. And apart from that, I had a tough time spotting any chromatic aberrations on this lens. I uh, deliberately scoured high contrasty areas, but they remain elusive. So I'd say that the chromatic aberrations are well controlled under this lens. And what are some drawbacks of using this lens? Well, first off, it's important to note that this lens is highly specialized, which means it won't be everyone's cup of tea. And one notable challenge is the bulbous front element, uh, characteristics of many ultra wide angle lenses. This design makes it difficult to attach standard size filters directly to the lens. 
Uh, so you might need specialized filter system, which can add uh, complexity and cost to your setup. And additionally, you'll notice a heavy vignetting when using this lens. Uh, this is a common characteristic throughout the shots that I took. And given its ultra wide 9mm focal length on a full frame camera, this lens tends to produce significant distortion, uh, particularly at the edges of the frame. And this distortion can lead to exaggerated perspectives, uh, which may not be suitable for all subjects, especially in portraiture, where distortion can be unflattering. So you just gotta work around that. And also working with an ultra wide lens requires a different approach to composition. And balancing elements in the frame can be challenging and you need to pay close attention to how objects are positioned, especially again at the edges of the frame. That being said though, I had a blast using this lens. It offers something unique and something different from other lenses out there. I can see it excelling in various scenarios such as, you know, capturing expansive landscapes, uh, capturing architecture, uh, interiors, and scenes where you want to emphasize like a sense of space and depth. Moreover, it has the potential for creating distinctive looking portraits, which is something I plan to explore further down the line. Seven Artisans mentioned that this lens will cost 479 US dollars. It might seem a bit pricey for the lens with such a niche focus. However, I can't think of any other 9mm ultra wide angle full frame 5.6 prime lenses out there. If you know of any, feel free to drop a comment. And ultimately, whether this lens is worth it or not depends on your specific needs and your creative aspirations. But yeah, what do you what do you think of this lens? How else can you envision using this? Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested, you can find the links in the description. And if you find this video helpful, valuable, consider subscribing for more gear reviews and photography tips and tricks video on this channel. Thanks for